Welcome to one of the most exciting cities anywhere in the world, Las Vegas and CTIA 2013. As you can see by looking around, the exhibit floor needs a little bit of work to get shaped up for tomorrow morning, but I promise you it will be ready to roll when we open the doors here at 11 o'clock on Tuesday. This is a year of change for CTIA, change in a lot of ways. First off, our location. We're in the Sands Expo and Convention Center. Haven't been here in a while. This week we'll have about 300,000 square feet of exhibit space. We'll have about 1,100 exhibitors on hand and we're expecting about 35,000 attendees. They are from all walks of wireless, which includes newcomers just about every day of the week. That's also part of the change I was talking about. The industry is always on the move and the show floor illustrates that. We'll have pavilions for cloud computing, e-commerce, mobile apps, connected health, automotive and transportation, and a few new ones, connected home and security, just to name a couple. Retail also has a growing presence here. The new iZone for Apple accessories, that's gonna be a big hit. And we have several international pavilions, representatives from Brazil, China, Germany, Spain, Taiwan, and Canada are all here. So this year we have a very broad show that represents perfectly this broad industry that we're creating. Wireless is touching everything. For example, John, we have built the largest M2M show in the world over the last three years with our partner Horizon House at the M2M Zone. And that's just one of the many things you'll see here at 2013. Another change, this is the last spring show we're going to have at CTIA. In the fall, we still have MobileCon in San Jose. That's this fall, 2013. But in 2014, the whole game changes. We take MobileCon, we take CTIA from the spring, we merge it together into Super Mobility Week in the fall in Las Vegas. We'll be working with several key partners to have this dominant event of the second half of the calendar year. It all kicks off September 9th, 2014. The transition really begins with Wireless 2013, having a great show in Las Vegas. Uh, we think that's going to be a good start for 2014. But what's happened over the last two years, we've taken a lot of time, a lot of deliberations among CTIA and our, our board, of course, uh, and we've decided to, to, to take our two shows and make them one show, and actually make that one show a lot bigger than it's ever been before. So we have some key partnerships uh, with like the National Home Builders Association, with EFA. that's going to be a, a, certainly a, a, a big event for us. Uh, so we're really uh, looking forward to 2014, but uh, before we get to 2014, we're going to have 2013, uh, Wireless 2013, and that's going to be a big show too. Super Mobility Week. You're going to be hearing an awful lot about it, so mark it on your calendar right now, September 9, 2014, a mega week of wireless here in Las Vegas. CTIA 2013, though, kicks off tomorrow morning with the keynotes. Our president and CEO, Steve Largent, will be on the stage. He'll be joined by acting chairwoman of the FCC, Mignon Clyburn, and the CTIA chairwoman for this year, Mary Dillon, who also is the president and CEO of U.S. Cellular. She's also hosting a power panel of female executives from Adobe, Target, Qualcomm, and Alcatel-Lucent. And the last keynote speaker of the day is Michael Saylor, the president and founder of MicroStrategy. So great keynotes, great thought leadership sessions. It's all right here on CTI.org. We stream the keynotes live, by the way, and if you can't check that out, be sure to look for the excerpts later on in the day. We'll see you then. It's going to be a great week in Vegas. We're glad you're going to join us.